Hello again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDrydocks.com, and uh, we're going to have a little fun today. At our recent dive tribe meeting, we talked about the idea of running lithium polymer batteries in the wet with no waterproofing whatsoever. We're going to test that today and do some other cool, crazy things. So stay tuned. All right, game plan. Um, this is. Uh, old battery that we had here the uh, Vislero 1300 milliamp hour 11.1 um, volt battery pack what we're gonna do we're gonna strip off this heat shrink open up the cell we'll show you what it looks like inside and uh, then we're gonna dunk it in the water so I'm gonna grab a knife we're gonna split this thing open and show you what's inside all right um, I stripped off the heat shrink for, for this battery and you can see the cells, it's called a 3S battery because there's three cells all wired together there. Um, it was like two-sided tape and uh, other kinds of tape holding it all together but they're connected through like a central power distribution circuit board kind of thing and some masking tape on here which uh, is kind of old and crusty because this is an old and crusty battery. But um, this is basically how the, the cell would sit. So you could, the idea behind this, um, to, to listen to the people who've tried this in the past, is you want to make sure that these are as uh, open as possible. So after you run it, it dries. You don't want that water trapped on the inside there. So what we're going to do, uh, we'll pretend that this is going to be how it's going to run. And uh, we're just going to drop it in the water. And I got a string tied to it here. <laughs> Um, so we can fish it back out again, but uh, let's put it in the water and we're going to see what happens. Ready? Nothing. So the the actual lithium cells from the factory appear to be sealed really well, which probably makes sense. Um, obviously, the bare connections eventually would uh, would end up corroding, and I can actually see just a little bit of a mist coming off of them, which means that the terminal blocks are, you know, oxidizing in the uh, in the water there. But that's no different than like a sealed lead acid battery or anything like that um, so I, I don't think that this is going to be a big deal at all I think it's potentially a viable solution if you were game enough to try it but I have a thought and we're going to test a theory and see what happens all right here's my thought <clears throat> there's a reason they put the heat shrink on the batteries uh, and that's to help protect them. This is a foil that covers these cells uh, and also obviously keeps the lithium isolated from anything on the outside. But if uh, you know you are like many uh, RC submariners out there, you may have your battery on your workbench, um, you may be working, you may be installing it, and um, it's quite possible that it may get punctured. So if you were to have a screwdriver and just like drop it, I gotta hit it first, on top that dented, but we're going to pretend that it was something a little bit more significant. So there's now a hole in there, and actually you can see it smoking. That's kind of like interesting. So you probably know if you punctured the foil. But that could also be because there is water um, on the outside of the foil. But let's see what happens with a punctured battery in the water. And you're gonna have to get a little closer to show people. <laughs> Got some bubbles going on. Bubbles. This isn't very exciting. This video is gonna get like four hits on YouTube.
can see a little bit of the like corrosion bubbles or little micro bubbles coming off of the terminals. But so far, nothing super exciting. That's awfully boring. So we saw what happened with a poke. Um, not a lot of things. Maybe what uh, we'll see what happens if it got slashed. I don't know why that would happen, but let's see what happens. All right, we now have a slash in the foil back into the water, patrolling in your submarine. Oh, now we've got some bubbles. But not a lot more. Again, not exciting. So pure lithium in water will create a very energetic reaction. Some like pink and orange flame, um, extremely hot burn. Um, it just could be that because this lithium is mixed into a polymer solution, it's just not as energetic a reaction. This is really interesting because the, the general folklore of uh, opponents to using lithium polymer is that, oh my god, my submarine is going to explode if the batteries get wet. And uh, I think we're actually proving that that may not be the case. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more aggressive with that foil and we're going to see what we can make happen. So if we take a look at this cross section, you can see like layers, right? Anodes and cathodes inside. And I've got a hunch what it is. It's this black material right here is insulating the lithium from the water. So um, I'm thinking if we uh, separate that uh, material, we're gonna see something a lot different happen now. And granted, we're really mauling this battery at this point. It's not gonna get more messed up than this. If, if somebody's running this battery in their boat, they really need to have their head examined. All right, are we ready? Three, two, one. Well, that's not exciting. Looks like an antacid pill. So I don't think that's a, a sheet of pure lithium. Or we'd be seeing something a lot more exciting going on, I have to think. Just some bubbles. So this is about as bad as it's gonna get. I've, I've separated all of these out. There's big gaps in between. Um, I don't know how else you could really mess with this battery other than maybe like cutting it in half. Um, but I'd be worried about short circuiting and destroying whatever cutting implement I was going to use for that particular thing. Yeah. That's all we got going on. A lot of bubbles. Anticlimactic. I was hoping for fire, but uh, it doesn't appear that we're going to be getting there today with this poor mold lithium polymer battery pack. Um, so, <laughs> conclusion, um, I would say it's feasible to run a lithium polymer battery pack in the wet uh, of your RC submarine. And if you actually take a look at the uh, the wiring here, um, it, it gets soldered to uh, like a terminal on a, on a circuit board or a power distribution board on the top of the battery pack. So it wouldn't even be necessary, um, necessarily, to seal the wire to stop water from coming on the inside because it's, it's equalized on both sides uh, and the end is open anyway. So you could, uh, I suppose, in theory, just seal 
uh, this little circuit board um, distribution area, uh, you know, with some resin or silicone or something like that. And uh, I think for all intents and purposes, you would have a waterproof battery pack that's actually pretty robust. I had to stab it pretty hard with this screwdriver to do anything. So um, there you go. That's uh, the Nautilus dry docks uh, performing exciting experiments for your benefit uh, and putting to rest the uh, old wives tale of exploding lithium polymer battery packs when you get them wet. Now charging is a different story. I've exploded them that way. But uh, in terms of dunking them uh, in the water and getting them wet, I don't think you'll lose your boat because of it. With that, I'll let you go. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you do. Got lots of videos coming every day. Uh, hope to see you soon.